What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and today we're at it again with another video. And today's video is how to make the Gboard, which is Google's keyboard from the Google Play Store, left or right handed on an Android phone. The reason you may want to do a left or right handed setup for your keyboard is if you want to use your Android device with only one hand. Using a left or right handed keyboard makes that a lot easier. So I went ahead and threw up a screen recording that you can see in the video here so you can follow along and see exactly what I'm doing. And right now I'm in Google Docs, which is a free word processing app by Google from the Google Play Store. Works really good. It's comparable to Microsoft Word. So here we are. You can see I have the full size keyboard. Now to make this left or right hand, it's going to be very easy. You've got the blue enter icon there and you're just going to press and hold on it until you get this other blue icon to show right directly above it. And then you just release that enter icon and it defaults to a right handed keyboard. Now to switch to a left-handed keyboard, pretty easy. There is an arrow on the left side of the keyboard there. You're just going to tap it and that makes the keyboard left-handed. Now, of course, I'm right-handed, so I'm going to throw it back into the right-handed setup. But let's say you don't want a left or right-handed keyboard. Say you want a custom keyboard layout where you can drag the keyboard pretty much anywhere in the screen with some limitations here. So you've got the two boxes and the arrow icon here on the left side of the keyboard. That's the one at the bottom. We're gonna tap on that. And you have these different icons here. You've got the back icon, we'll explain that in a minute. You've got the four arrows. That's going to allow you to drag the keyboard around to wherever you wanna do it. And not only can you go left or right, but you can go higher up. Now you may wonder why would you wanna put the keyboard higher up? And we're gonna go ahead and click the check mark icon and just leave it there and then explain. So with the keyboard higher up, it kind of treats the device as though it were a smaller one with a smaller screen. So someone with a smaller hand can still type, but they can reach the top a little bit easier and pull down the notification shade and look at everything that's going on there. Now, of course, if you don't like this keyboard layout, you can back out of it by hitting that icon again, the one with the two boxes and the arrow, and it's gonna have a back button. And hitting that back button will make the keyboard default back to a right-handed keyboard and then you just hit the check mark now say that you don't want a left or right-handed keyboard you can go back to a full-size keyboard by hitting the expand icon on the left side of the keyboard that's the one at the very top and that brings you back to a full-size keyboard now if you're using a left or right-handed keyboard of course the reason you'd want to do this is because you can use your device one-handed you're going to want a keyboard method that is more for someone who's using a device left or right handed. So I made a video about this for the Gboard, the Google Keyboard again, where you can use swipe or as Google calls it, glide for the Gboard. And I'm gonna put a link of that in the video here. So you can go ahead and click on that. Now, before we go any further here, we do wanna say some cons about this. Now, of course, you're using a left or right handed keyboard here. And as you can see, it's smaller than the full size keyboard which means there is an increased chance of typos because you have smaller keys to work with. Now, if you find that you're having a little bit more typos because you're using a smaller left or right-handed keyboard, you may want to turn off the autocorrect and just be more aware of what you're typing. So that is pretty much it for this video today. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, make sure you leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, as always, drop those below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now you can support the channel by watching any of my other videos or hitting that subscribe button. And until next time, Leon checking out.